Hi. This is my 2005 Dyna Superglide. Very decent bike, I guess. Well, since it's beginning to get to the end of October, I am going to embark on a a journey of power, we'll call it. I got some nice cams here from uh, fueling at the Reaper 574 cams. And I also got some nice uh, 95 inch pistons from KB Performance. Um, so I should be adding some nice power to this bike over the winter. And I decided to film it. Make some nice videos. See what happens. Maybe you'll learn something. Maybe I'll learn something. Probably gonna fuck some stuff up, but that's what we're here for. This will be a good time. So, to get started, I'm taking all the tins off because I'm going to paint them. They're going to be painted black with a nice vinyl decal kit that I got from a friend. Uh, the fairing is going to come off. I guess it could help if you could see that. So yeah, the fairing's coming off. Uh, the handlebars might come off. I may put some new bushings in there. They're kind of new, so I might not. Uh, of course, the carb, clean air cleaner, heads, jugs, exhaust, probably the brake controls. Um, that'll all be coming off. And then I'm gonna send it off to get machined. It should be a fun, it's probably going to take a couple months because of the machine and everything else. But it um, should be a good time. I'm hoping to get somewhere near 100 horsepower on this thing. Hopefully, we'll see. Right now, it's just a stock 88. 2 and a 1 lowbrow Kirker exhaust. k and intake. Uh, mostly everything's been cosmetic. Gold wheels. Uh, nice pegs, got the skate crash bar, Saddleman step up seat, great seat by the way, um, Elite Moto Tech controls, drag specialties, 12 and a half inch shocks, progressive springs in the front end, mostly been cosmetic and suspension stuff so I'm trying to go ahead and get performance stuff done while I'm at it. You know, give all this cosmetic stuff something to do while it's going fast. So we'll see. So without further ado, I'm going to get started on the seat, tank, carb, and air cleaner, get all that crap off, and hopefully start tearing the actual engine down. Okay. trying something here I've never tried before but it seems like a good trick this is the fuel line let me get this thing to focus real quick so this is the fuel line that connects the left and the right side of the tank you can see the hose clamp there if you just cut this line you're gonna get fuel fucking everywhere trust me you're gonna get fuel everywhere so I saw this thing where if you clamp each side with a pair of vice grips, there's one here and you can see the other one right here, it'll cut off the fuel and then you can cut this hose in half and then get yourself some quarter inch hose with a dual barb fitting and then you can stick it in the hose that's in here because this is a quarter inch fuel line and you'll be able to drain it directly into a gas can which I have. So yeah, bear with me. Not 100% sure if this is going to work or not. 
Sounds like a good idea. We'll see. Now naturally there is going to be some fuel spillage just from residual in the line. That's what these cheap Harbor Freight paper towels are for. Now I do have probably three quarters of a tank of gas in here. So if this doesn't work, I'm going to know right away. Okay, lines cut. No fuel spillage yet. So far so good. All right, now it's time to connect our little barb fitting here to this hose. Okay, so this is the fuel line right here. That's where it's been cut, you see that? And then this is the new barb fitting with the foot of tube that's gonna run down and drain into the gas can. Holy shit, it worked! Not spilling any fuel? Fuck yeah. So it's pretty much done draining now. I had to empty this fucking gas can. So I'm gonna take off the back bolts, or the back bolt holding the tank on, and I'm gonna tilt it up and try to see if there's any residual left in there. And then I'm gonna attach this drain hose to the other side of this cross tube and uh, make sure there's none hanging out over there. Okay, the left side's completely drained. I'm gonna reattach this vice grip to that side, disconnect the drain fitting, connect it to the other side, and drain the residual on the other side because this is a separate tank. Two-sided. Now you can see, yeah, that's the drain for the connector, that's the drain hose. Down into the fuel can. Yeah. Tank is fully drained. Minimal spillage. Last time I did this, I spilled fucking fuel everywhere. My house stunk for like a week. So now I'm going to go over to the other side, take care of the petcock and the fuel line for the carb. That'll be easy. Come along. This is the petcock. It is turned off. So there should be Little to no fuel in this line, because I turned it off and then I let the bike run until it pretty much sputtered and died. Not quite, but almost. So there should be little to no fuel in here. But we all know how fuel works. So what I'm gonna do is the same thing. I'm gonna take a pair of vice grips, pinch this off back here, because this nipple goes out about an inch. And then I'm gonna take this little hose clamp off, pop this hose off, disconnect this wire, Take out this bolt in the front of the tank, and this tank should pop off. Great start. Okay, petcock off. Little vacuum hose that goes to the carb is off, fuel line is off. So what I need to do is take out this front bolt, it's a half inch on both sides. It's like a three inch long bolt. And then take that out, and then I'm keeping these vice grips on here on the 
connector hose, just in case there's fuel in there. There probably is. I just forgot. I have this tank where the old Super Glide tank with this little housing and then the gas gauge right here. I forgot I need to take this housing off, undo these four bolts, take this whole console off. There's a couple things I gotta unplug in here before I can take this tank off. Not a hard thing to do at all. Just completely slipped my mind. This is the inside. Got the gas gauge right here that just pops out. <clears throat> Like that. And then this little harness right here for the uh, um, fuel level. You just unplug that. Set your gas level gauge over here somewhere out of the way. Zip tie it to your handlebars more than likely. Because there are connected, there is, it is connected by these little wires. And this is an older bike, so they're probably a little brittle. But once that's all done, pop this fucker out. All right, all right. There you go. That's how you get your fuel tank off. Now these bolts that hold your gas tank on, the best thing to do with these is just put them right back in the holes where they came out of. That way there's no confusion. You don't lose them. You keep all the washers. And you know right where it's at when you need it next. There we go. There you go. They got access to all these wires through here, the heads, the mounts. Uh, the carb is going to be easier to get to. Very good. All right, guys, that was my first video to YouTube ever. So let me know what you think. If you got any tips or anything for me for editing, uh, just let me know. It's the first video I've ever edited, especially with audio and, and, and everything. Um, I tried to make it as informative as possible, as well as giving some good tips and tricks. Um, so, yeah, let me know what you guys think. I got some more goodies in the mail recently, trying to get this project moving along. Uh, here's a little something I got. Uh, fueling oil pump, that was a last minute purchase. Just to sort of accompany the valve train um, upgrades I got going. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Leave me a comment if you want. I got thick skin, let me have it. So yeah, more videos to come hopefully once a week. I'm gonna try, I got like, 10 hours of content right now saved up waiting to get edited and compressed and, and put on YouTube. So yeah, let me know. I also wanted to give a big shout out to um, John Tripp, uh, Tripp HP Junkie. Uh, he's helped me out a lot with this whole starting YouTube thing, as well as uh, my buddy Nasty Nardo for helping me with some parts, part sourcing and uh, just, you know, words of wisdom. Same with the uh, the Dyna Demos guys, check them out as well, as well as Trip HP. Uh, those guys have helped me out before. And then uh, Nigel Jones, huge help with the whole YouTube thing because I'm totally unfamiliar with it. So big shout out to those guys. Thanks again.